We are doing uh, Honors Algebra 2 Precalculus homework review for 10.6 number 59 in Precalc, uh, which is on page 774. Sorry, page 774. All right. Um, so we're given a parametric uh, system of equations. We're given x equals 6 cosine theta and y equals 6 sine theta. And we're asked to both graph this and then also figure out if we can find the rectangular equation. So the funny thing about this one is that you, um, if I took those sixes out, like let's pretend it didn't have a six. Let's just say it said x equals cosine theta, y equals sine theta. That's the unit circle, right? Like where x is cosine theta and y is sine theta, that is 100% the unit circle. So basically this is just a unit circle where all the coordinates are six times larger. This is, instead of being a unit circle, this is a circle of radius six instead of radius one unit. That's really what's happening. Um, and just like the unit circle, because the x is the cosine and the y is the sine, this is gonna go in the same direction as the unit circle, meaning it's gonna go counterclockwise. So. I can use existing knowledge to figure that out without actually having to sketch this curve. You also could have made a table, right? So like, I'm gonna suggest that I would not have made a table. What I would have done is just said, hey, wait a second, this is the unit circle with a radius of six. And because I'm the laziest human on the planet, I'm literally gonna make my scale go by sixes. And I know it's gonna start here and go like this. And it's gonna go this way, right? Cause it's the unit circle, but with a radius of six. Great, that's a circle. It doesn't look very circular, but you get the idea. If you feel like you needed to plug in values, anytime I have to plug into trig functions, I start by plugging in the easiest possible values that I can come up with, and I probably would have picked the corners, to be honest. I would have picked uh, the theta is zero, theta is pi over two, theta is pi, theta is three pi over two, and theta is two pi, and it would have confirmed that my points would have been, if I plugged in, so if I plugged in theta equals zero, my x would have been six times one, which is totally six, and my y would have been six times zero, which is totally zero, and that confirms my point six comma zero. And the same thing would happen here with zero comma six, here with negative six comma zero, and here with zero comma negative six. You could plug in a whole bunch of values if you wanted, but again, this one's one where it's much easier if you can just see that. Now, knowing that this is a circle with centers zero, zero, and radius six, also helps me write the rectangular equation, because I know that the equation of a circle is at centered at zero, zero is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So I could kind of cheat and just be like, so this should be x squared plus y squared equals 36 because the radius is six. But I'm gonna show you why it actually is. Let's go ahead and square. So let's do six cosine theta quantity squared plus six sine theta quantity squared, right? If we simplify that, this is gonna be a 36 cosine squared of theta plus a 36 sine squared of theta. If I factor out the GCF of 36, I'm left with a trig identity that hopefully we all know pretty well. Cosine squared plus sine squared is a one, so I get that this is a 36. So sure enough, the equation I get here is x squared plus y squared is a 36. That's my rectangular equation. But again, you can kind of see that by visual inspection if you spot that it's a circle earlier. You won't always, uh, but sometimes you can spot one like this.